Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React Time. Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Together with the Office Blokes. Yes. Hi. It is a true factual statement, and we're going to do another competition to win a t shirt. Woo! Nice. Ooh. Ooh. What sort of t shirt yeah. is it, Dave? It is a. £1.50. <laughs> not again. We've <laughs> <laughs> not got any nice polos. Until we have t shirts with all of our faces on it as well. It's Never going to happen. It's always going to oh, be. Yeah. Yeah. No one's. Uh, <clears throat> he wouldn't want Mike on their chest. Precisely. Mike's head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dropping a uh, big mic on the chest. Oh, uh, <laughs> so what we're going to do, if you want to win this, head to our video of <clears throat> Just Stop Oil protesters getting wrecked and type, not on normal courtyard exercise. Okay. Can you abbreviate that in any way, Dave? Like, no, you're not no, allowed to. Just use the initials that it no, begins no, with. No, I wouldn't encourage no. such a thing. Uh, not on normal courtyard exercise. Can't use the acronym. <clears throat> in fact, do we really want people posting that on one of our videos? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, scrap that one. Think of something else. I thought that before when you said it. I thought, it's probably not a good idea. That. Why didn't you stop me? <laughs> it's like that one that we did that was like KKK members react. <laughs> <laughs> this is our faces. <laughs> <laughs> was, was so <laughs> uh, oh, all right. Um, let's. I don't know. <laughs> JFO. Just type in JFO. JF. Oh, because you got JSO for just stop oil. So this with, is JF, like Frank. So we're thirty. Oh. We're thirty seconds into the video. So yeah. is it what was JFO? Well, what does that mean? Just F off. Just fuck off. <laughs> right. Yeah. JFO on our just stop oil protest is getting wrecked. Video. Go for it. We got there in the end. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, this will keep getting worse. I don't know what this is. No. Right. Okay. <clears throat> this keeps the, the decoy voice keeps flashing up on me. Uh, on the timeline, and I went into his channel and had a quick look at what it is. It looks like he talks about like uh, current affairs. Let's say, maybe. right? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know anything about him. I've just seen this flash up. I reacted to a song this morning, actually. Uh, Jason Aldean, is he called? Remember that cowboy hat mm -hmm. I got given? Yeah. It's his. That singer. It's his signature hat. He's, okay. He's released a song called. Uh, Try that in a small town. Oh, I've seen it's it. It's called. Have you seen mm. it? Yeah. And it's all about the the sort of riots mm. and all the kicking off and yeah. stuff like that. And he's just like, come and try that in a small town. So we say to Jay, so in it. Yeah, I dare you. And uh, I, I think it's probably a response to a lot of this absolute madness that's yeah, going yeah. on, where it's like the police don't show up. Yeah. You know, you can just go and rob shops blind, and no one seems to care, and riot and destroy everything. Yeah. I I'd say sometimes I think they pick and choose, like you just up oils, where they do the protests and, you know, the certain yeah. places where if you did it, you'd be like, nah, it's not happening. The Germans are coming down hard on just stop oil. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else then when you said the Germans are coming. Could you be put? <laughs> <laughs> there are, there's loads of videos now. The German cops aren't messing about. Good. They are absolutely muscling them off the road, just yeah. picking them up and throwing them Good. and stuff. It's great. Don't get in the way. That's where it should be. Yeah. Anyway, let's do it. This will keep getting worse. At a Home Depot in Hawaii, these two masked manlit bandits cut the locks off expensive tools at a Home Depot and casually walk out with them. And not just a few, as it appears to be at least nine wow. of these boxes of expensive name brand Milwaukee tool sets, which on HomeDepot.com look to be anywhere from $350 to $600 each. And the original poster of the video stated that they walked out with over $3,000 of tools and have done this over 10 times before, with Home Depot management stating they are not allowed to call the police, which is a wow. far different reaction from the Home Depot we covered over seven months. I've seen videos of where staff wow. have physically stopped someone and then the staff have been sacked because they've assaulted the person that's stealing. It's surely they have security there. But the security can't touch them. Even if there's security. What's the point? When I was a kid, I went into a, a, like a local co-op near school and a guy walked up to me and he just, I was looking at like the sandwiches in the, uh, in the fridge sort of thing and he just walked up next to me and just stared at me. Right, this bloke. I was about, probably about 11. And he just stared at me like, I was only little when I was 11. And he just... And he just pulled out a massive like bag, just fucking start, just filled it with all the bacon and sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I just stood there looking at him. He just went, winked at me, went, "See ya." <laughs> Put it on his shoulder and fucked yeah. off. <laughs> just yeah. stood there going like, "What just happened there?" Right, see you at home, oh, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a bit. Having bacon yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the thing. Is anonymity is their friend, isn't it? 
And what I'm thinking is, if you're filming him, just pull the thing off the face and film their actual mm. face and see yeah. what they do. Yeah. Or just give him a proper like, just boom. Yeah, I think it's Home Depot. He's got like a big B and Q type yeah. thing over mm-hmm. here. Yeah, same. Like, exactly yeah, I think I've heard of that. Yeah, so I'm guessing it's that. like yeah. uh, nationwide. I think the the world has gone a little. The Western world seems to have gone a little bit mad with being on the side of criminals and not backing up the the normal regular person. Exactly. Not, People are just having enough of it. Yeah, it's I think we should start stealing from the government because they're stealing from us. Uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, How would you go about stealing? Uh, from I've got, I've, I've, got, I've, got st- I've got shit in mind. Let's move on quick. <laughs> Months ago, where a mob of vigilantes stepped in to stop a thief. You just walk out with all this. You're not walking off with that. You You'd park a bit closer if you were going to rob the place, yeah. wouldn't you? As Hawaii News now covered the recent theft and stated that Good the employees are not to confront the thieves, notably after a Home Depot employee was recently shot dead stopping wow. another shoplifter, as that incident took place in California just over two months earlier. Well, the Independent reports it was over another name brand toolbox. But as they drove off doing more than 90 miles per hour, the shooter held a two year old baby in her arms, where both the shooter and the driver had long criminal histories and were both currently on parole which is not Home Depot's only shoplifting related death as months earlier another employee was killed by another thief and this isn't exclusive to Home Depot 83 year old employee it's like you that yeah (laughs) (laughs) no one will shove Mike while I'm here very funny look at that for a headline Lowe's worker axed after getting black eye trying to stop thieves it's Lowe's not, is the same as being the same sort of hardware is it? store as well. Yeah. Well, right. I think you could use a better word than axed when you're talking about them getting a black eye and then getting fired. <laughs> oh, you me. I thought, oh, you, me. I I thought, thought so, you got someone, someone hitting I me with an axe. That, that's what I mean. Yeah. That, that's how it's been worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some apps that I keep seeing there, scrotes nicking bikes in this country, mm. and they've got their faces covered and they go with an angle grinder and, and cut the thing. Everyone stands around filming them. Seeing it, they're the mopeds. They're yeah, like, that's there's loads, little, little yeah. 50cc mopeds. Yeah, and they're like, Oi, stop it. Not bad. Mm. And it's like... To be fair, though, he's got an angle grind in his hand. <laughs> if you go yeah. anywhere near him, I mean, you're losing an hand. It's not worth it. Just walk away. It's not your problem. I think they've all got masks, so the second that mask wind comes up, down... It's wind up. There just seems to be no... Like, how do we expect society to be any better if yeah. we just allow people mm. to behave like that? Yep. Yep. It's, it's like the beginning of the end, isn't it? Mm as their hardware store competitor Lowe's also had an incident where shoplifters beat up a 68 year old female employee where the three shoplifters were trying to steal two thousand dollars of stuff beat up the worker and then Lowe's turned around and fired her and this isn't exclusive to home improvement wow. as Lululemon has had similar incidents of shoplifters walking out with stacks of clothing no no seriously get out get out get out where their simple tops and bottoms go from $60 to $120 each. And just like Lowe's, Lululemon fired the employees for intervening in the robbery, as the CEO cited their zero tolerance policy, stating it's only merchandise, which I kind of understand where he's coming from. Sure, you don't want people just walking out with stacks of your merchandise, but you also don't want your hourly employees taking rounds of the chest over leggings. It's just that this simply isn't sustainable. But if you work there, you just leave work, <coughs> go and put a mask Might on, as well leave come the door back open. in and just pick take it out. Take it out. Phone your mate and go, you know, just pop down here, take whatever shit you want. You've got about 20 minutes. Yeah. You might as well. And I just won't say a word. Just when, cover it, make sure you're masked up. You might as well just up. go down with a van, might you? And just load it up, yeah. just keep yeah. walking in and out, just yeah. keep piling it up. Yeah. We're not far Absolute off someone, someone getting disciplined for not holding the door open for the thieves <laughs> when they leave <laughs> and thanking them for their business. <laughs> come again. Come again. <laughs> See you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Have a brilliant day. <laughs> Because what I genuinely don't understand is, the older woman that got fired from Lowe's, or the girls that got fired from Lululemon, or any of the employees at that Hawaii Home Depot, or just any employees that know any of this, what stops them from simply walking out with merchandise as well? Because I understand, taking stuff is wrong, and this will realistically cause a collapse of society. But if it's company policy to let it happen, and it's against company policy to stop it from happening, at what point in time is simply walking out with merchandise part of the employee handbook? Because something, or someone, is pushing all these companies simultaneously to this unified point of self-sabotage. And I personally think it's Jeff Bezos and Amazon. Because as other stores are slowly going extinct, an online retailer like Amazon is consistently increasing year over year, standing at half a trillion dollars of revenue in wow. 2022. Yeah, but you know, if that is the plan from Jeff Bezos, you know what happens. All the shops go out of business, 
and then people start hijacking your Amazon delivery vans and taking everything. They do that. They do yeah. all right now. Or they do that already over exactly. here now. They steal they parcels. Follow, they follow the driver around. They just as he's dropping yeah. them on the step, they're picking them up and putting them in their van. Yeah. But when you've got no shops left to rob, that's what they're, they're going to do. Some, like, they someone will take the something. whole van with everything in it. Yeah. Exactly. It's like banks now. Where do I go? They're closing all the high street banks. Yeah. Where do I go? So what's the point in banking with a high street no, bank? No, I'm not talking about banking. Where do I go to rob it? All oh, right. When we get me money, when we do me armed robbery now? <clears throat> exactly. Well, it just doesn't happen anymore, does it? No. Or very, very rarely anyway. Mm. You don't yeah. hear of it anymore, do you? No, not in banks, certainly not. Because mm. I don't think they have a lot of cash there anyway, do they? No. So. I, I almost said I'm not a conspiracy guy, but I remembered about <laughs> all the comments for every time I say that. Uh, but... There is a push towards a cashless society, yeah. isn't there? 100%. There really is. I always take cash out just to piss everyone off. But they always think of Pay something, don't they? It's awkward now. Mm. Yeah. I saw a guy get, he um, was buying some strawberries in a Aldi or a Lidl down south, and it's a cashless one. You've got to beep your card when you go in. <clears throat> and he just walked in and he just put the cash on the desk and made a fuss out of it. And he said, this is the exact legal tender for that. I'm taking him. Mm. And all the staff are chasing him. And it's like, you can't do that. Did they all get sacked? They probably got patted on the back in this country. It's crazy, isn't it? Wouldn't you know it, a lot of stolen goods from other retailers end up using Amazon as a fence, giving them a nice commission, which is especially troubling when you take into account that Bezos owns the Washington Post, where the Washington Post constantly publishes articles that seem to cover for retail crimes, reporting how BLM protesters were overwhelmingly peaceful, conveniently glossing over the looting, and writing how the US criminal justice system is a failure, and how easy is it for a regular person to see all of this happening right in front of their face and simply never make the connection. The guy that runs the country's largest online store buys a media outlet that covers for the thieves that are conveniently running his competitors out of business. And sadly, it's working. Case in point, as Walmart leaves Chicago as they simply cannot turn a profit in the area, do they blame the mass locust-like looting, the natural disaster-like destruction, wow. the cage fighting at the checkout, and not even metaphorical flooding, just actual flooding? Did the politicians in charge think, hey, Maybe your poor policies on crime are bringing in the literal apocalypse of shopping in Chicago? Nah, Chicago mayor used to cover for looters like this. So you're not, people you're not, not condoning looting? I'm saying that people are acting out of desperation. And then their leadership blame corporations. Wonder why yes, sir. our communities look like they look. Well, that we truth. have violence every single day. Speak the truth. Yeah, it is just not on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's the commentators in the background. Yeah. Speak, the truth. Speak, Speak the, the truth. truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amen. Why can't they just have a normal conversation when they're trying to talk to them? Why does it always have to be like as if they're doing kind of like a massive speech? Because they don't mean what they say. Yeah. So they've got to make it theatrical to get people on the side. Yeah. It's the psychology was worked out hundreds of years yeah. ago of how to speak to crowds. The only one, the only one I've seen as a as a um, as a politician who talks just normal without putting it all on is Jeremy Hunt. I mean, he's. He just talks normal. Yeah. I'm glad you got his name right. I know. <laughs> a lot of people don't. I know. Yeah. You'd be surprised. There's compilations of it online. I know, yeah. I yeah, yeah I, get what, I get what you mean. Mm. Yeah, I do get what you mean. It's an absolute end game, this. It is like, if, if you let people... You can't moan about violence in your community and allow people to behave like that mm. in shops and loot. They go hand in hand. I don't know, if, if, you're, if you're working in a store, right, and I don't know how it works over here, what the law is, and someone's walking past you, and it's obviously stealing, and you give them a crack, right, and hold them to the floor and tie them up and mm. put them in the fridge yep. for a few days, and then the police come and then you say, right, it was robbing. Where, where does that leave you? In jail. If they're, if they're in a fridge, I would guess so. <laughs> I, uh, where I, else can you store them? You don't want to leave them on the shop floor, do you? Keep them fresh, I suppose. Yeah. I know a guy that used to be a bouncer years ago in quite a big club in Manchester, and um, it's one where <clears throat> there was a lot of bouncers and there was a lot of drugs and things, and sometimes people may or may not get a little bit hurt if they're being violent. Mm. And uh, he got sued and had to go through the court system for about two years. For hitting someone? For allegedly someone got hurt when they were being escorted out of the place. May or may not. You know, I don't know. I wasn't there. But uh, it was like two years of his life. And in the end, he gave up being a bouncer forever because he was like, it's not worth the stress. Mm. Can't be <clears throat> asked. He's dragged through the courts. Yeah. His name was dragged through the courts. He, he, was, uh, he, he didn't get convicted of anything. It all went away in the end. But... You think where's the incentive to try and help yeah. or tackle unruly people yeah. when you just get in trouble mm. for it? Yeah, as long as it's not near them, they don't they don't give a shit. Until people start breaking into the politicians' homes and start looting everything. Someone did it last night, didn't they? Yeah. Did they? Rishi Sunak's house. Oh really? Really? Planned on the roof. 
Was it wow. the was it the tax man saying yeah. we'll take that? We'll take that. I think <laughs> you my money. I think you were the public for this. <laughs> It is all the corporate citizens that come into our community yeah. and ravage our community. Yeah. Yeah. And Walmart, you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. Yeah. You are the reason. For providing jobs for the community. Yeah. You're, not making money. Money. you're not making any money. Close. Simple. Yeah. Move somewhere where you're making money. This is annoying me, this video. <laughs> we should not have to go out of our communities to find jobs. We should not have to go out of our communities to get medicine. We should not go out of our communities to be able to shop. We should be able to do all of this in our community. Right here. We deserve. <laughs> we deserve. And we we deserve. deserve. You know, that's that woman's voice in the back. That's right his, here. You know, yeah. it's his mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his biggest fan. <laughs> At least some of the residents still have sanity. The Walmart on 83rd and Stewart in Chicago is officially closing. This is probably about the only major resources as far as like shopping and access to groceries. And we are so quick to always say, well, this person is not doing this and the white man this and the white man that. We blame everybody else for our shit. We don't ever want to look at ourselves and point the finger back at ourselves and say, okay, I think maybe we f***ed up. Maybe we shouldn't have been going in there stealing TVs and going in there stealing electronics and all this other shit. And that's not even an exaggeration. Listen to the looters during the flood. We but you know we Walmart. lost our Walmart, right? Ours? Huh? Is it ours? Yes, because it's in our community. Because guess what? We're going to go for our Christmas. So we're not summer. smart enough to build our own Walmart? Okay. Are we not smart enough to take out a loan and build our own shit? Because they'll let us, right? <laughs> yeah. Why build your own shit when the community are just going to destroy it? Yeah. So you can yeah. loot other people's shit, but when it's your shit, everyone will respect it. I think that's what she's trying to say. Don't you stop? Don't don't. don't oh, really. she is she trying, she's to, trying stop to stop him? him right. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's she's what she's like saying they're going to go away, so we're yeah. going to shop. You yeah. know, that's and, and then the other like one say, yeah. "No, we'll just build back up and build our own." Yeah. But you, you don't. There's one there already. Mm. It's not yours. It's, it's, not, it's fucking not yours. I know. Yeah. Simple. That's the answer. Is it yours? No. I think. F off. Yeah. Just, there's such a uh, victimhood complex that loads of people have nowadays, though, where they think I'm entitled to that because I've been uh -huh. oppressed. Oh, you know, yeah. like, I know a lot of like, places. We've yeah. got someone here that's doing exactly that right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, you know, Ed, as soon as you recognise everyone has their own stuff going on mm. in their life, but the only person that's going to get you out of it is you. Sort your shit out. That's it. Don't go and rob a TV. Don't do fucking anything else I must admit if it kicked off here and it was all looting in Altrincham I'd be there <laughs> <laughs> robbing tellies clothes <laughs> yeah. I'd probably be in the mix of it like just egg uh, egging people on go on, go on uh, grab that over there yeah. I'll Three, be filming it 300 quid TV didn't yeah. that what was it Logan Paul did during the riots mm. he was with all the looters filming himself vlogging it or something <laughs> and he got in a lot of trouble for it oh really yeah it's mm. one of the Paul brothers we gotta put our money together, man. We gotta let nobody let us. Which one? I severely doubt those with a looting mentality have this untapped business acumen to create a logistics chain that can bring in goods and services to the community at comparable prices to the most successful retail chain in U.S. history. And the first step to the success story was looting and flooding the local Walmart. No, I don't believe any of that. I just think these people are the useful idiots that corporations like Amazon rely on to help gift them a monopoly on providing goods and services like medicine to these communities. And the saddest part about all of this is it doesn't need to be this way. As plenty of people are posting online what a liberal criminal justice society looks like versus a high trust society. Where in South Korea, there are staffless convenience stores, as everything just sits on shelves and you're trusted to check yourself out. And it's not just Korea, as Denmark also has these staffless stores. And it's not just small towns, as even Tokyo, Japan has staffless stores. And it's just sad how simple it would be for any society to be structured like Tokyo. <clears throat> Anytime we're getting staffless stores, eh? People phone in sick. Look at that though, no yeah. staff, no scanning. It's the AI convenience store. Yeah. So you know what that is? They'll boop your card when you walk in, everything will be RFIDs, yep. and you'll just walk out and it'll just bill you. Yeah, probably. It'll have facial recognition and stuff like that, I'm guessing. There is no stealing from that because you've got to use your card, card to, to get, get in. in. Yeah. It's like staying in a hotel room, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm. So that's that's not an, uh, it's a bit of a false equivalency against Walmart. You're assuming that's what happens. That's what it says there. No right. staff, no scanning. It's the AI yeah. convenience store. Yeah, but you're assuming you have to scan your car to go in. I think you will. You don't mm. touch cash. Uh, I think so. 
I mean, we have self-scan over here, don't we? So it is a fairly equivalent type of thing where you can scan your own stuff in your bag and then you go to the till, put put your uh, car we don't in, have or works, your barcode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but well, that's exactly the same, isn't it? That, you, know, the you just invented something there. I think so, yeah. Like, Pioneer. Well, yeah. <laughs> you get your basket, you put it in, you take it to the checkout, and it's self-checkout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before you know it, it'll be, it'll be everywhere, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the future. It's the future. <laughs> Garlic bread. Jesus. And has snackless stores. And it's just sad how simple it would be for any society to be structured like Tokyo, but most people just don't have the stomach for it. And although they say they want to live in a high trust society, once they see some bum screeching as they get arrested for stealing some snacks, they'll go right back and revert to the mentality of, it's just a candy bar, it's just a pair of pants, it's just an expensive drill, or or it's just a corporation until it's just a ghost town that used to be a city. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on what's really going on in the world, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how California is actually getting masked crime fighters. Yes. It's just, yeah. That's why I went around here, masked. That's why I might be a masked crime fighter. <laughs> should, we set, should we set one up? The future is, <laughs> yeah. by the look of it, vigilantism. Mm. Isn't it? Because if if we had them ages ago, what were they called? Something angels? What were the? Uh... Well, it's based off. It was in New York originally. Guardian, Guardian, Angel. Guardian Angels. Yeah, yeah, they were here. They were here in the UK. Well, they yeah, Manchester. They did come over Manchester, yeah. Yeah. and London. Yeah. Mm. It, it's what will happen. Yeah. And then the police will say we don't allow vigilantes, but we're not going to show up when your house gets burgled. Yeah. Then who is? What if Vigilante all of your neighbours come yeah, round and idea, say, that. you know, let's go on? <laughs> Isn't it? Should we get that going? Hey, that'd be good. Yeah. Why not? There's just no sense of like community pride anymore, is there? Mm. And that's a big part of it. Like, I think when people years ago maybe remembered that there wasn't all these options, you've got one store. Everyone was probably proud of it, and it was their mm. store. Maybe you oversaturate the market with too many big chains. Mm. Do you got to move with the times, though? I, if, the I, big chain, if the big chains want to be mm. there and they oversaturate, then fine. I'm not you, saying it's their fault. The small, the, small, the, the, smaller, the smaller business <laughs> has got to try and compete with that. And it's the same in every business. Yeah. You're going to get everything from small. To, you, you've got online delivery services that compete with Amazon. They're not competing with Amazon, mm. but they're the same as Amazon. Yeah. But they're just on a very smaller scale. Yeah, that's right. I just think um, there's no community pride anymore. Like no one. No, I don't know. I'm not sure if I agree. With I'm, that. No, I mean, I mean in these situations, I'm not saying yeah. there isn't where we are or where loads of other people yeah. are. Oh, I'm right, saying okay. for you to behave like that means you don't give a shit about your community. Yeah. You don't. You're not bothered about upsetting people. Th the staff that work there. Oh, no, the people are doing that. It's just them. me, me, me. They're, they're the ones yeah. that are doing that. They're just mm. all they're bothered about is number one. they themselves. Yeah. Period. That's it. No one else. Without a yeah. doubt. Unfortunately, in all societies, you're always going to have people like that. Always. It's just how you deal with it. But I don't it's think the greed. way to deal with. Don't think the way to deal with it is just letting them walk out the shop. No, it's greed. Absolutely it? not. It's greed. You know, it's not just sort of like, oh, it's greed. Uh, it's just. Uh, it's, it's I can get that for free. I'm going to have it. Yeah. It's yeah. mine. It's mine now. Is a is a three hundred dollar TV worth getting your nose broken no. for? I mean, with no. these people, not, with so these people that own these companies, would they let someone just waltz into the house, pick all load of their stuff up, and just walk out? They'd probably it? shoot them. Yeah. Exactly. Would they, but they don't mind letting them walk out the store. With it. I know. I get the chance to protect the staff to a certain extent, but just get security on there. Insurance. Security that are paid that know that there's insurance. A, you're probably right. Just yeah. claim it all back. Mm. Yeah. No incentive. Well, it's when they're doing the figures at the end of the year and they go, well, we've got X amount for this. <laughs> that means we owe the council, we owe the tax uh, zero. Yeah, <laughs> In yeah, fact, yeah. you owe us £59, please. Yeah. Kind of all like it, yeah. But there's no incentive for these guys not to rob, is there? If they're just walking no. in and out, well, you know, it just... It depends which state you're in, doesn't it? Because I've seen lots your of mental state, <laughs> true, <laughs> greedy state. I've seen lots of videos, total knobhead state. <laughs> seen lots of videos on Twitter of people trying to do this in certain states, and they they don't do very well. No, good. <laughs> the, the planking on the floor like that after yeah. taking a couple in the spine. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> hope you guys wow. enjoyed that. Don't forget like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers.